What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool mouse over text animation and this cool slide zoom feature when you click on an object, all in PowerPoint, using the example of this interactive solar system map. Let's get started. To save you a little bit of time, I've included links to all of the photos I used in this PowerPoint presentation in the description of the video. Now let's get to building. Let's start with a blank slide. We'll go over to design and then format background and in the background pane, we'll go to picture texture fill and then to insert. For the picture source, just find that picture of the solar system you downloaded and select insert and there you go. Next, we'll go back to the home tab. We'll go over to shapes and we'll choose rectangle. Then click and drag to draw a rectangle that covers the entire slide and it should snap to the corners. Choose no fill and no line over in the format pane. Then go up to the insert tab in the top menu, go to action, and then click on the mouse over tab and select hyperlink two. Then in the drop down menu, choose slide and slide one and hit okay. What this rectangle allows us to do is return to this main slide so that every time we hover over a planet, its name doesn't stay put. So when we hover over Jupiter, for example, Jupiter's name only appears as long as our cursor is on the planet Jupiter. As soon as we move it off Jupiter, we're moving it back onto this rectangle that we just created and our slide will return to slide one. So that way, anytime our mouse isn't directly on a planet, we're coming back to the main slide and the name of the planet is gonna disappear. Next, let's duplicate this slide by hitting command or control D, and then we'll add a text box near the planet Mercury. Go back to the home tab, change the text color to white, change the font to open sans semi bold, change the font size to 24, and type Mercury. And just drag the text box into position where you want it. Once your text is in place, click on the slide in the left menu and duplicate it seven more times so that you have a total of nine slides. Then starting with slide three, simply move and change the text for each consecutive planet. For example, the next one is Venus. Go ahead and do that with the rest. Once you get all those names in place, come back up to new slide and insert another blank slide. Then under format background, keep it at solid fill and change the fill color to black. Double click to create a text box, change the font color to white, change the font to open sans extra bold, change the font size to 80, and then click back in the text box and type the word mercury. Duplicate the text box using command C and command V, and then move it into place below the first text box. Then change the font type to open sans semi bold, change the font size to 28, and duplicate the text box again. Change the font in this one to open sans light, change the font size to 20, and then drag these into place about where they should go on the slide, making sure that the left sides are aligned and that you have enough space between them to show that there's a little bit of hierarchy here. Once you're satisfied with the position of this text for now, go ahead and duplicate that slide with Command or Control D seven more times so you get eight total of these slides. Select slide 10, then go back to picture and insert a picture from file. Find your picture of Mercury and insert it on the slide. Drag the planet into place about where you want it and then use the resize tools to resize Mercury until it's about the size you want as well and send it to the back. When you're satisfied with the placement of the picture, select the text Go to the text color and choose more colors. Then using this selector eyedropper from the color wheel, choose a gray color for Mercury surface, but don't go too dark because you want it to contrast against the black. Then change the subtitle to first planet from the sun and change the text to what you see here. And I'll link this in the description as well. When you're done, your slide should look about like this. Then you'll just repeat the process for the rest of these slides, inserting the picture for the planet in question, resizing and realigning that picture, and then changing the title colors and text to match each planet. When you're making these slides, try alternating the planets so that they go back and forth from left to right between these slides, so that if someone views them in order through the solar system, they have a little bit of variety here. Go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of the planets, and then I'll meet you right back here. So once you have all the planet slides done, go back to the first slide, the one with no text on it, go up to shapes and insert an oval, and then go to Mercury and click and drag while holding shift to make a perfect circle right over Mercury, change to no fill and change to no line. So we've basically created a shape that is like a ghost shape of Mercury. Once you've inserted the circle, go up to the insert tab, go to action and select the mouse over tab, then select hyperlink to Click the drop down menu, select slide, and we're gonna select the slide that has the word Mercury on it. So that's gonna be slide two. And you can see it appear in the dialog box here. Select okay and hit okay again. And that way when we play our slide and we mouse over Mercury, the word Mercury is going to appear. And then when we move our mouse back onto this rectangle that we created earlier, that text is gonna disappear. Pretty cool. 
So now you'll just repeat the process for each planet. You'll create an invisible circle. You'll go to the insert tab, insert an action, a mouse over, and link to the corresponding slide for each planet. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, once you've created the circles for all of these planets, put them in place and hyperlinked the mouse overs to the appropriate slides. You're gonna go ahead and drag your mouse and select all of these, but don't select the rectangle, and hit Command or Control C. And then on each of these other slides, you're gonna hit Command or Control V to paste into place on all of these. Now copying and pasting eight times may seem a little inefficient, but since we had to build these slides before we could link to them, it's actually most efficient to do it in this order. So I recommend building all nine of these slides first, then building the circles, linking each circle, and then copying and pasting the circles. It is the quickest way to do it. Now go to any one of these slides. I'll just go to the first one for demonstration purposes. Click on Jupiter, or you can actually click on any of the planets, but I'm doing Jupiter. Right click and select save as picture. This is going to save this circle as a picture. And I title this null.png, but you can title it whatever you want and then hit save. I've already got it here, so I'm not gonna save this one. And now we're currently on the first slide. This is the only slide we don't wanna do this on. Start with slide number two for Mercury. You'll go to the insert tab if you're not already there. You'll select zoom and slide zoom. Now, since we're on slide two, which is Mercury, we're going to select this corresponding slide for Mercury and we're going to insert it. Go up to Zoom Tools in the top menu and select Return to Zoom. That means once we zoom into this slide, all we have to do is click again and we'll go back out to the main solar system slide. So we wanna zoom in and then be able to zoom out again, not just go through all of these slides in a progression. Now we'll right click on this slide that appears here, go to Change Image and select Change Image. Then find that null object that you created and select Insert and it'll insert that circle that you created. Again, it's gonna be invisible, except we've got this little fill over here. So for the time being, leave this at solid line. That's gonna give us a square that we can see and select, and that's gonna allow us to resize this more easily. So let's drag this in place in front of Mercury. And so we'll line up those corners down there approximately right, and we'll click and drag while holding Shift until we just engulf Mercury, and then we'll select no line, and that's it. Go ahead and repeat that process for all the other planets. I'll show you one more time. Again, we'll go to Venus's slide, we'll go up to insert, we'll go to zoom, slide zoom, we'll select the Venus slide, we'll insert it, we'll go up to the zoom tools, we'll select return to zoom, we'll right click on the slide, change image, change image, we'll select our null object, we'll insert it, we'll drag the null object into place over Venus, we'll resize that null object down to cover Venus, we'll go up to the fill tools, and we'll select no line. And that's it, repeat for all the planets. Great, once you've completed those steps, you're actually done already. Now, some of you who know your way around PowerPoint really well may be asking, hey, why didn't we just insert the hyperlink onto these null objects? The problem is it doesn't actually work. So what I'm talking about is if you go to the insert tab, instead of us inserting all those circles that we made earlier, why wouldn't we just insert the null object that we created over each one of these planets with the slide zoom on it? So we have the slide zoom selected, why wouldn't we just add the mouse over to the slide zoom itself? And the problem is when you try and do that, the hyperlink doesn't actually work and the mouse over doesn't transition to the other slide. I'm not sure exactly how PowerPoint reads a slide zoom, so I haven't been able to figure out a workaround to this. But if someone knows how to add hyperlinks to a slide zoom that you've replaced the object for, please let me know because I don't know, I couldn't find an answer online, but this workaround works perfectly. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is make sure you do it in this order. Make sure you create the objects first and add the hyperlinks and then add the slide zooms because you want the slide zooms to be on top. So that's actually it. Let's go test out our slides. All right, let's see how we did. So we'll mouse over and each one of these planet names should show up. Look at that. We're looking good. Now let's see what happens when we click on some of these planet names. Slide zoom into our beautiful slide. Look at that. Then we click back out, we're at the main slide. Let's check out Saturn, that's a nice one. Beautiful, well done. So this is really neat because we're zooming into each section of our solar system, we're going to that unique slide and then we can just click right back out to our solar system model again. And then anytime we mouse over a planet, we get the name, anytime we mouse off, the name disappears again. And we're actually switching between slides every time we do this, but no one watching your presentation is gonna know because PowerPoint does it instantaneously. How nice is that? I'm super excited about the possibilities of this concept myself. 
This allows you to click on literally anything in your presentation that you wanna set up. So you can walk everyone through this journey. You can kind of have the main slide that gives an overview of your presentation. And then you can walk people through each step by just clicking through each one of these items that you decide to link. And that'll give the audience a really good feel of where they are in the presentation, how the journey all pieces together, and then where you're breaking down into these small parts, right? So you get more and more detail the further you click in. This is kind of a Prezi look, and I love it. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to click that like button, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video like this. If there's content you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I do read them and I do take them into consideration when making my content. For the time being, have a good one and I'll see you next time.